set up at the Bubinda Boulders camp and might be able to still see the truck behind me there, we're like the first, first site there. Um, it's pretty full, um, so if you do plan to get to this one, you, it's a pretty popular place. Uh, but we're already, it's nice and warm, it's like 2 o'clock, 2.30. Um, so we're going to walk down and have a swim at the boulders um, straight away before we're like doing anything else. Um, which is only a short walk. I'm excited. This one's been on my to-do list for a while, as you know. If you watched our Mission Beach episode, um, we were meant to stop here on the way north, but the weather was terrible. Came back today and it's beautiful blue skies and sunny. How good is this? This is the day use area. There's toilets, barbecues, and a playground as well. It's awesome. So good. So, so good. And it's, yeah, just a couple of hundred meters from the campground as well. So that's awesome. Cold. cold enough to get your head under. <laughs> what are you doing now? Have you borrowed a floaty? At the boulders, look out. You don't swim here. And you can see why. What a cool walk, eh? It's what, a, what a cool place in general. Yeah. Sweet like bitumen park. Yeah. Through the rainforest. Yeah. It's all like about five or ten minutes walk from the camping area which is free like can't argue with that This is the Babinda Boulders free camp. It's um, six kilometers down the road from Babinda to the boulders. And then you literally walk out and like down maybe 500 meters to the boulders. Uh, it's free, which is fantastic. At the moment, there is a meant to be a maximum of 10 camp sites um, because of COVID and you do need to check in, um, which I'm just about to head over and do now um, at the toilet block, which is just over here. So there is um, toilets. Um, there as well. Um, it's really beautiful. Obviously, sort of almost in the rainforest, beautiful glassy sites. Some of them are a bit muddy as well. So um, just if you're worried about that, just check check your site. If you if you get a choice, it was packed when we got here. So we were lucky enough that um, the neighbours um, they offered to move their car out of the way so we could sit slot in next to them, which was awesome because um, we wouldn't have fit otherwise. Really, we could have parked on an edgy bit, but um, it's always nicer to. Um, be in an actual site um, and they're kind of like they're just big enough for sort of two vans per site which is awesome um not much else to tell really uh no jump point here no water here so you do have to be fully self-contained um there is some rubbish bins um here but yeah it's pretty self-explanatory when it's free camp
I've just wandered down to uh, the boulders swimming area um, just before sunset and I've got the whole place to myself. It's beautiful. Council that's not anti free camping. Yeah, and so that's three, they've got three really nice free camps in their council area at least that I know of. Yeah, um, and they came and cleaned the toilets this morning, like, yeah, so and showers by the way. I forgot to add that yesterday, they actually have cold water showers um, here as well. Yeah, right. Um, that are free, so you don't have to even do point or whatever. Um, yeah, and they cleaned them this morning, so we know that they're well maintained and stuff as well. So they actually put the effort in to campus which is awesome and we in turn spend money in the towns yeah, so we're, yeah. we're gonna stop at the butcher and the bakery now yeah so beautiful beautiful camp definitely um, drive the extra six k's down from Bavinda to the boulders and camp there um, and fingers crossed for a site for you there is a tiny sliver of reception um, we could have put the mast up and got it but we were just having the night we off we just had a night off so but if you're really internet hungry, then maybe stay out at the um, Rotary Camp of Bavinda instead. Unless you've got our mast. Unless you've got our mast set, set up, up. Yeah. <laughs> and you probably will be fine. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Stopped in at the butcher and the bakery. They both have really good reputations, and I can definitely see why. The butcher, we spent like 200 bucks, I think, just on a bunch of different. Um, things which is really nice it's nice to support local and shop small and stuff like that so yeah and the bakery oh my goodness we got I stocked up the bakery and look at this pie it's a beef bacon and cheese the pastry is delicious the filling is plentiful it is a really good pie probably in my top three pies I'd say top four pies maybe it's hard to say hey, Amanda uh, just making a quick stop um, to Josephine Falls. On the way to Paranella Park. On the Park. way to Paranella Park for tonight, yes. And we just came from the Vinda Boulders. The Vinda Boulders. <laughs> Boulders, yeah. So we're doing that strip. If you didn't watch our Mission Beach episode, we talked about the fact that we were meant to do this stuff on the way north. Um, so we're doing all the way south. <laughs> doing a bit of a loopy thing happening. Yeah. You'll get to know when you watch the episode. It's pretty beautiful, though. It's pretty cool. He drives through like rainforest and banana farms and cane farms. It's pretty yeah. diverse. It's nice. And right under the Mount Bartlefrida. Which is Queensland's tallest, tallest mountain. Yeah. Tick it off the bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Josephine Falls. There's a big turning circle. And then you can park along the edge here if you're in a van. So we've parked here and there's another one down further and then over the other side of the road they put like they're just the cars. So if you're wondering if you can bring your van you can because um, there's parking. And Daniel has decided that this path is 700 meters long to the falls and it's all flat with no stairs so he's going to unicycle it. So I'm going to be on my own. Ari's left with um, another family that we met yesterday. So um, she's already walking down there. And I'm following along.
way to the top viewing platform. glad we came so beautiful yeah like i was like oh come on it's just another falls like we'll just go to parinella park it's beautiful as well i knew that was beautiful though <laughs> but i didn't realize that was this beautiful so, yeah yeah absolutely look at the watercolor behind me oh, like hashtag no filters <laughs> that is amazing color i don't think i've ever seen watercolor like that it's maybe no, new zealand new zealand maybe yeah, add a watercolor it's kind of like um warren Green though that, yeah that green so Nice. But yeah, um, and, yeah. An amazing swimming as well. So, like, little swimming pool area. It's we a like little the chilly, but you know, you just got to so do those things sometimes. After the walk and the sun just sun yeah. warm up in and stuff, it's beautiful. Good. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, so, there's the first key turn that you get to is the swimming area, and then there's two lookouts further up from that. Um, but they're only like 100 meters, so um, not probably not even that. Um, so it's definitely worth going up and having a look at the falls closer. Anyway, that's us done at Josephine Falls. We are off to Paranel Park now, which is very exciting. Um, really looking forward to it. chosen the paddock at Paranella Park um, just because it was going to be easier to get into for the powered site. They gave us, they were awesome, they actually met us outside because they were waiting for us to arrive um, which is really cool um, and they said you've got three options, you've got this pa powered site right back in the park which is really tight to get into but if you're good at manoeuvring you can get into it um, or we could have the bus parking spot which has power and water or power anyway um, or we could go to the um, paddock here for a powered site so we just chose to go up to the paddock um, so that we didn't have to worry about kind of moving and whatever so we've got a powered site up here this is pretty much it this is it I'll show you it that's it it's pretty much just a piece of grass in the sun with power behind um, there's a heap of unpowered sections up here and they're actually putting a toilet block and everything up here so at the moment you have to be self-contained um, for power uh, for power water toilet shower all that stuff or there's four powered sites but still no water so you have to still bring your own water to the paddock but they are putting toilet blocks and shower blocks in we are heading off to find somewhere to go for a swim because it's hot and sunny Just... Uh, 
Or is that gay? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? It wasn't as fun as you made it out. Well, it was happy to be fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah. About five minutes down the road from Paranormal Park. I don't even know what it's Manor called. Manor Creek. It's just known as Manor Creek. Creek. Um, there's We're a... We're around and you can see what it's like, looks like from the top. It's a bridge. This looks like a bridge in the cane farm. And, and it's this little bridge. Kind of like a car park. And down this dodgy, dodgy trail. <laughs> It's a sweet rope bridge, rope right swing. Right swing. And yeah. Yeah. It's not like it's not Deep like a water pool and like some shallow areas with rocks and stuff. Yeah. So we've had Water's a bit of a beautiful. swim in the shallow rock bit, and then we did a couple of jumps off the rope swing. Uh, it was great fun. But yeah, it's not like a tourist attraction marked thing or anything. It's just a little hidden gem. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of an extra kind of pull offy bit that you can park your car off the side of the road. I'll flip you around and show you. So it's on the road towards the um, Menor Creek our shop thing. Can't remember what exactly it was called. just arrived to do the day tour of the Parnell Park. Uh, they run a tour every half an hour um, and then we're going to do that tour, have another wander around and then we'll come back again and do the night tour which we've heard is really good. They both have different things, different features of the tours um, and they're both included in camping fees. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. After the tour, um, you can come down and feed the fish. They give you little tubs of fish food, um, and you can feed fish and turtles, and apparently there's eels in there too, but we didn't see any eels. But it's not far to walk. Um, nice little activity for the kids. What an amazing place! That waterfall is probably one of the best I've seen in a while and I love waterfalls. Um, it's just so magical here. Um, even during the day, just the story behind it all and uh, it's just great. I love it. yesterday that um, it was $50 a person to stay here to last night um, at Parallela Park um, per adult and then $28 per child oh sorry just dropped the keys um, and that included the tour of the park like both day and night tour and then you could still like just go and use the park um, go and view it wander around do whatever you wanted um, so it is expensive 
Um, it's a great experience and so much history and a really great story. Um, it's really unique to see. So if you've got it in your budget, put it like put it down and do it and support small business. Um, just know that it is on the expensive side um, for a campsite, if that makes sense. I'm sure you could just come and do the tours and stuff, but I, don't, I have no idea how much they actually cost um, if you wanted to just do them and then drive to a different camp or whatever, but um, you might as well stay here as well. Just, just down the road um, from Cranella Park is a playground with a water tap um, that you can fill up at, and we were filling up and going to the r and &E to get the toilet and the home ice cream van guy came past. I come out and Daniel's buying ice creams. <laughs> Bakery yesterday, ice creams today. My diet's not going very well. <laughs> anyway, uh, life on the road. That's us for this episode. I hope you enjoyed our little stops around the area. Um, and we are off into some waterfalls next. So that will be fun. We love waterfalls, as you know. Thanks again so much for watching. Thank you for all of our new subscribers as well. We've seen a few of you pop in over the last couple of days, which is awesome. We love it. Um, and well, um, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff that you do share with your friends. Um, we are still loving our adventure and loving sharing it with you as well. Catch you in the next episode. Thanks again so much. Hello. Good day. Good afternoon. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we just wanted to take this opportunity to wish you all a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And, and a Happy New Year. And we, a Happy New Year. Good girl. We really hope that you get to spend Christmas uh, with your family. Have a safe and happy one. Um, considering the year it's been with COVID and lockdowns and all that kind of thing. So uh, we really do, do hope that you get to spend it with your family wherever you are. Uh, we also want to take this opportunity to say thank you so very much for your support this year uh, with YouTube. Um, we have loved our 12 months, this last 12 months on the road. And um, we can't believe it's Christmas already. No, it's been <laughs> quick. It's gone so quick. So yeah. thank you so much again. And we will see you in 2022. Ciao. Catch ya.